You summon me? How long have you served me, Hassan? Since I was a boy. I've done the best I could. Yes, you've killed many men for me. As skilled as your father, perhaps even more so. Yet of all my students, you've been the most defiant. You still hold on to our ancient ways when I have made it perfectly clear that our order must adapt. Master, first you commend me, then you proceed to ridicule me. If you have something to say, please speak clearly. First, I improved the hid blade's design, yet you still sacrifice your finger. I allow poison to be used, yet you refrain. I say our missions must be conducted in the shadows, and you openly murder your victims. This is how it has always been done. Why change? Because the world has changed. If we continue in our ancestors' footsteps, we will be labeled madmen and shall be hunted down. Our fortress is not strong enough. Our men are too few. So you say we should cower in the shadows when there is work to be done. Your pride has given you sharp words, boy. I mean no disrespect, but we cannot forget who we are. I ask only that you abandon blind rituals, not the creed. My skills and devotions to the old ways have been good enough thus far. Why tamper with that? Because there will come a day when your skills won't be enough. And when that day comes, will you be willing to adapt? I hope you can. Is there a mission for me? Or have you only brought me here for a lecture? <sighs> a year ago, I created a set of armor. Not unlike the armor your father once found for us. Achilles. Yes. Nearly indestructible. Better had I never made it, for this morning it has gone missing from our vault. Missing? Yes. A month ago, a woman came to us seeking to join our order. Recently, we were given reason to believe she had connections to the Templars. We sent for her this morning to question her, but she has gone missing along with the armor. So you want me to find her and bring the armor back? No. The Templars will only come looking for it again if it returns. Therefore, when you retrieve it, take it to my son in Venice. He will take care of it. From there, you will travel to Spain. Spain? I foresee dark times in that land. We have need of good leadership there. You will be the master of Spain. Me? A master assassin? First you must find my armor. It is imperative that it not fall into the hands of the Templars. I will not fail you. Hassan, wait. I give you my sword so that my son will know you. May our families always be united in a common cause. I thank you for this great gift, Altair. Safety and peace, my brother. To you as well. Downing? Yes. You alright? Yeah. Oh. I think we should get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Are you sure this is the last place Gaspar Martinez was seen? Yes, and it appears that some of our men have been arrested by his order. I see. And have we had any word from Raphael? None, sir. But one of our men reported that a Venetian boat pulled into the harbor today. A man bearing our symbols was on board. An assassin? We did not know. We tried to follow him, but he disappeared shortly after he entered the thieves district. Strange. But we'll have to deal with this later. I must go. Good luck, senor. Gracias.
estoy aquí para matarte. going to hurt you, but tell me, what happened here? Please. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I came to give him dinner and, and somebody just came out of the shadows. Who? El Diablo. What did he look like? I don't know. He was, uh, there's a white robe and a hood covering his face and there's something about a burning, burning something tonight. P please don't kill me. I only kill those who kill others. Go. I have a bad feeling about this one. The sooner he is alight, the better. You have a bad feeling about this one, you superstitious fool. I'm just saying. You are right. I agree. Once I leave this part of this, can I get it? Many thanks to you, strangers. I must be off to see if my family's all right. Adios. My thanks to you as well, stranger. I am no stranger. We are one and the same. By the cuts of your clothing, do you help from Venice? Florence, Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Alejandro Lince, at your service. So, what brings you from Italia? I heard there was some trouble here. I wanted to see if I could lend a hand. The Inquisition has brought many troubles to our people here. Ah, should we kill the king and queen then? Stop them from unifying this country through religion? No, no, no. They're only doing what they believe to be best for their people. The problem lies elsewhere, with the Grand Inquisitor, Tomas Torquemada. I suspect Templar involvement. We must learn more before we strike. Then what will you have me do? Find a man named Rafael Sanchez. He is one of mine. He will help you save our brethren who have been imprisoned by the Inquisition. I will gather more information. When you've completed your task, return to me, and we will plan our next move. A presto, Alejandro. Safety and peace, Ezio. Nothing that can help us. 
Do you need a break? No, I think we should just keep going. Okay. Ezio Auditori sends word. Buongiorno, Alejandro. I have found Rafael as you instructed. We have rescued our brothers in Zaragoza and have assassinated Pedro Lorente. We are now in Granada and are raiding the city of its Templar spies. However, it appears Torquemada's orders to arrest the assassins have come directly from Rodrigo Borgia, the Templar Grand Master. Both men must be silenced. Sadly, things are only getting worse here, my friend, and I suspect a piece of Eden at work. My time in your country is swiftly coming to an end. Word has reached my ears of trouble in Florence, and I fear I have neglected my mission there for too long. Therefore, I suggest we take action against Torquemada. This persecution must be stopped now. Send word as soon as you can if you desire further assistance from me. Lord? Send him back this message. Ezio, I am pleased that you have been successful. I know your mission at home is of much importance. However, I still require your assistance. Unfortunately, silencing Torquemada is not so simple. He is the Queen's oldest confessor. To kill him would only bring more hatred to our kind. Worse yet, he is protected by some enchantment. A golden fleece. Perhaps this is the piece of Eden that you are suspecting. Therefore, Meet me at Torquemada's villa outside of Barcelona on the 5th of the month. We will talk to him ourselves. See how involved with the Templars he really is. Perhaps we can sway his mind to hand over the fleece peacefully and end his persecution. If not, then we will take action. Is that all, my lord? Yes, but make haste. We don't have much time.